Hey everybody, it's Troy from BDN Portland here. You know, this weekend is the Lunar New Year, and that's often called the Chinese New Year. So why don't we look at Portland's Chinese American history? You know, according to a 2018 Wallet Hub study, Maine is the least diverse state in the Union. Portland is more multicultural than the rest of the state, but it's still pretty white. It's never had a huge Chinese population, but Chinese folks have been living here since at least 1858. And Portland got its first Chinese restaurant 139 years ago. Now that first Chinese restaurant was right here on Customs House Wharf. It was opened by a man named R.T. Lam in 1880. And since there were only about nine Chinese people living in Portland at the time, which had a total population of almost 34,000, it probably didn't serve too much in the way of ethnically Chinese food. Incidentally, R.T. Lam became a naturalized citizen in 1876 and Maine's first Chinese-American voter in 1891. Now, it's a good thing he got naturalized when he did, because in 1882, the federal government made Chinese immigration and naturalization illegal. And those racist rules stayed largely in place until the 1960s. Now, most Chinese folks who came to Portland in the 19th and early 20th centuries were self-employed in the restaurant or laundry business. By 1920, there were about 30 Chinese laundries in Portland alone, and almost every city in the state had one. So here on Center Street, right along here, is where Maine's first Chinese hand laundry stood. A 14-year-old immigrant boy named Sam Lee opened it in 1877. His business name, written on a sign outside, was Chinese Laundry. So here in Monument Square, right around here, there used to be a big fancy hotel. In its basement, there was a Chinese laundry between 1879 and 1903. After hours and on the weekends, it was a popular hangout for other laundrymen from across the city. It was also raided several times for illegal gambling in the 1890s. But there was also a jam band that used to attract crowds on the sidewalk with fiddle, banjo, and panpipes. The old Bangor Daily Wigan Courier described the music as wild, weird, and peculiar. Now the first two upscale Chinese restaurants in town were run by the same out-of-state syndicate. They opened around 1916 and they were the Empire, which is still kind of right here on Congress Street in a different version. And the other was the Oriental Restaurant, which was right here where the public market house is now. Now this 608 block here on Congress Street has had a Chinese business of one kind or another on it pretty much continuously for a hundred years. First there was a laundry and it opened in 1918 and it was followed by another laundry. And then in 1939, the Mandarin Cafe opened. Then there was the Cathay Gardens restaurant, Hu Shang's, the 456 restaurant, Portland Hunan restaurant, and now, Szechuan Kitchen. Now, as you can probably guess, there's a ton more Chinese history in Portland than I have time to tell you about right now. If you want to know more, and trust me, you do, go to the Chinese and American Friendship Association of Maine website at cafammaine.org. You'll be glad you did.